Yeah. I'm not hooking it for you, dude. <laughs> You're gonna put it right at like the point of this thing, <laughs> and then just like. You're killing him. And then just straight through the shell like that. And that's all you're doing. Let me know if you can find the bottom. If not, we need to get you a bigger jig, but we should be able to get down to the bottom. All right, so we're just doing the same thing with the jig. And a little crab. You don't need a big crab jig. Like, I'm not saying you don't want to use a big one, but hog. Yeah. Jake, I had one already. All right, Jake, they're here. There we go. He might keep, honestly. <gasps> he swiped me again. <laughs> Jake keeps getting swiped. All right, first little guy. This one's only 13 inches, so he's definitely not gonna keep, so we're gonna get him back. And let's get some more. I was going to say the wind's picking up. This is not... No, wait up. This is some supreme fishing here, boy. Okay. Oof! There you go! Ah. That guy. Oh, that's a big one. Get him out of the, get him out. You gotta get him out. Do you mean to get the net? Damn, hold this. Oh, hold on, keep him up, keep him up. Jake got a big one. That's definitely a keeper, keep him away. Oh! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> a boy! There you go! That's the one we're looking for. Atta boy. Fucking hammer. That's a big fish, dude. <laughs> it is. Smoked them. Nice. All right, Jake just got his first hog, first hog, right? Yeah. First hog. All right, there you go. That's a big one. Okay. Don't let him go, don't let him go, don't let him go. We're gonna measure him. He has to be 15 to keep. He's definitely 15. He's 18. 18 inches on the mark. So we're gonna keep this guy. All right, sweet. Alright, slide them in there. Wow, they're biting. Oh, the water's warm. Get him! Again! On the next drop! What a guy! Another big one? Ah, uh, he's not as big. Okay, okay. This kid. Alright, pick him up, toss that guy back. He's not big enough. That's <laughs> alright. That one was a good size one, too, though. Was it? Okay. There, boss. Oh my gosh! Scoop a dee whoop! Dan's getting mad. Well, we got our two keepers. Hell yeah! What? Guess we're eating the night. Gonna do a little catch and cook action, I suppose. Yo, he's golden too. All right guys, talk number two. This is gonna be my keeper for the day. Jake already got his keeper. We're only allowed to keep one each, so um, it's pretty windy, but we're catching fish, so we're just gonna keep after it. Uh, see if we can get some more. Just gonna get a quick measure on this guy. This one's gonna be just about 17. A little smaller than Jake's, but 
Oh, good. Dog, just a little guy, just gonna toss him back. Find the sketch. <laughs> Next drop. Oh, it's a good one, too. There we go. I think this is my fourth one. Just gonna let him back. Two. Okay. Dan, back to your position, please. <laughs> Alright guys, so after a pretty windy day, um, me and Jake and Dan, we ended up catching two keepers. Me and Jake caught them. Dan wasn't fishing, so he didn't keep any, but um, uh, yeah, so we kept two. So I'm going to flay them up right now, uh, cook them up, and we're going to do a little catch and cook, I guess. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. So here are the two tog we caught. I guess this is actually a tape measure, so... As you can see, one of them's just over 17, and then Jake's is gonna be just about 18 inches, maybe a little bit bigger than 18, but mine had this really cool gold color on it. This really cool like gold tint to it. Jake's is just a big ugly one, but that's all right. A little shot on the mouths on these guys. Pretty nasty looking. nasty teeth in these things but they should taste pretty good gonna get them filleted up with this rusty fillet knife and then I cook them up so yeah all right so in here with the filleted fish on this one over here I put some lemon pepper uh, and then this one over here I just put some Italian seasoning uh, that's just gonna be wrapped in tin foil and then thrown in the oven for a little bit and then these pieces over here I chopped up uh, these are the cheek pieces over here and then just like some small uh, mismatched pieces with these pieces I'm gonna dunk them in the egg, put them in the breadcrumbs, and then I'm gonna fry them in some olive oil. So that way we have some that are fried and then some that are baked just to get like a different flavor. Catch back with you when these are all done and we'll see what they look like. All right, so here's the finished product. Here's the baked fish. And then here's the fried nuggets. Fried nuggets do look kind of better, but I'm gonna have Jake and Dan test them and I'm gonna eat them and we're gonna try to judge which one's the best, so. All right guys, so it's been a couple days. Um, I'm just editing this video now. Um, after tasting that fish, it that was the first time that I've ever eaten tog, and it was probably one of the best fish like I've ever eaten. Um, the fried nuggets, like I said, did look better, and they did taste better than the baked fish. Um, but I, I baked it just so I could get like a flavor without um, like the fried taste, I guess. Um, yeah, Dan and Jake both enjoyed them as well. Uh, Dan liked it. That was Dan's first time having tog as well, and I'm pretty sure it was Jake's first time also. Um, and they all liked it too. So. Um, all in all, it was a super windy day, uh, but we really just kind of went out there and made the most of it. Uh, we were able to catch me and Jake's limit, caught two keepers, 
Um, and we were just doing the same thing I was doing in my last video. Uh, me and Harley went out, we caught some crabs and we were just using those as bait. So all the bait we were using was just free other than the jigs obviously, which are kind of pricey, but worth it in the long run, I guess, when you're keeping fish. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot, it helps me out. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of new videos coming out in the future. So hopefully the stripers start coming. Uh, I have another TOG video coming out uh, within the next week. So yeah, just stay tuned and stick around and I'll see you guys in that next video.